Multiple response questions like these ones are very common in research. So instead of allowing a respondent to pick just one option, with the multiple response, the respondent can choose multiple options from a list provided. When entering the data in software like SPSS or Excel, this is the way you set it all up. Each of the items in your list of options becomes a variable on its own. In many cases, it is recommended to use zero to mean the option was not selected and one to mean that the option was selected. So zero, no, it wasn't selected, and one, it was selected. If you use a data collection software like Cobo Toolbox or Open Data Kit, your multiple response questions will already be exported with each option being represented by a variable and zeros and ones being used for not selected and selected. Now let's look at how you would summarize such variables in SPSS. The first option for summarizing multiple response questions is to run frequency tables for all the variables. Let's try that. So go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies. I'll grab all the multiple response variables except the ID into the variables box on the right. Click OK. Right, the output is OK. At least from here, we can tell that, for example, 70.5% have farming as one of their household sources of income. For non farm business, that's 51.5%, and so on. The problem with this, however, is that there are way too many tables. In most cases, we are only interested in the frequency of those who chose each of the options we have. That means we are only interested in counting the ones and not the zeros. This is where you need to use multiple response option in SPSS. First, you need to define each multiple response set. Let's minimize the output. You'll find that there are several places for defining multiple response sets in SPSS, for reasons best known to the developers at IBM. And unfortunately, you need all of them. Let's start with going to analyze, multiple response, define variable set. We'll drag all the variables in our multiple response set to the right-hand side. Then we'll specify which values we are going to be counting here, where it says counted value. Remember that we are only interested in counting the number of people who actually selected the response, and when they did so, we recorded one. So we'll type one as the counted value. Then we need to give a name to the variable that will hold our multiple responses. I'll say income sources without the space, remember this is a variable name. Then we can specify the label of our variable. I will say household sources of income, then click add. If you have more multiple response sets, you can continue in the same manner, adding the variables to the variables in set box and specifying the value you are counting. Then finally the variable label and the name. Let's close this. So now that we have our variable, we can use it to create one table of frequencies, but we can only do that using the multiple response option on the menu. So I'll click analyze again, multiple response, frequencies. Drag the multiple response variable to the right hand side, then click OK. This looks so much neater. The percent value is expressed out of the total n at the bottom. The total n here is not the number of cases in the data set but rather the total number of times all the options were selected, combined. Since these are multiple responses, the total n is bigger than the actual number of cases. So the percent should be construed as frequency relative to the total number of the number of times all the options were selected. While the percent of cases here is for each of the option out of the total number of cases we have in the dataset, it's exactly the frequencies we had earlier on when we used the frequency procedure to summarize each of the variables individually. So the percent should tell you which option was selected the most out of all the options. But percent of cases should now tell you the real representation of how many times the option was selected by the total number of cases. You may also have noticed that we can produce a cross tabulation using our multiple response variable. Let's try that. Go to analyze, multiple response, cross tabs. Let's drag the household sources of income variable here to the rows. Then let's use the gender variable in the columns. Notice we have question marks inside the gender bracket. That's because we need to specify the values of gender. So I'll click define ranges. We're using zero for female and one for male. So we'll type those values here. 
click continue. It's best to turn on column percentages so we can see the relative frequencies by gender. To do that, click options. Under cell percentages, click column, then click continue. And finally, click OK. Nice. So now each of the options has been cross tabulated by gender without having to worry about those who did not select the option. Now, what happens when we want to produce some charts with the multiple response variable? Right? Let's go to graphs, chart builder. Well, as you can see from the variables list here, the multiple response variable we just defined from the analyze menu is nowhere to be seen. The variable does not appear here. The one that will appear here is the one you have to define using the data menu. So let's close this for now. Go to data. Define multiple response sets. Now, the way we define the multiple response set here is exactly the same. So drag our multiple response variables from farming to remittances into variable set box. In the counted value box, we type 1. Then we'll go ahead and define the set name here. Once again, I'll call it income sources, again without a space. This time, no label. Let's just click add. Click OK. Let's minimize the output. Now, this time when you go to graphs, chart builder, well, you see, perfect. We have our multiple response variable right here. Let's try a bar chart with it. Drag and drop the face bar chart type from the galley. Drag income sources and drop it onto the x-axis. Let's change the statistics using the element properties. So here, instead of count, let's change it to percentage. Click OK. Awesome. Now we have a bar chart using our multiple response variable. That's it about summarizing multiple response variables. We have even more cool SPSS tutorials coming your way. So before you go, click the subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss anything. Till next time.